All right, we've got an age problem here, a uh, simple math problem, and it is Bob is Bill's father. Bob is 35 years old. Three years ago, Bob was four times as old as his son was then. How old is Bill now? All right, well, we have a little video we had a few days ago that kind of went through a methodology uh, for working out problems like this, and uh, we're basically going to go through and follow that same method. So let's take a look at this. Um, what we want to do is to come up with an age. Um, usually I'd like to set a variable equal to the younger person's age today. So we could set a variable x equal to Bill's age today. Um, and then three years ago, Bill would have been, that's the son, Bill would be x minus three years of age uh, three years ago. Um, we know that Bob, who's the father, is 35 years old today, and so three years ago, he would be 35 minus 3, which would be 32. So the father would have been 32 years of age three years ago. All right, so working with that, um, we we could set, uh, we want to come up with an equation now that we have that information, and we know that Three years ago, the father, Bob, was four times the age that Bill was three years ago. Bill was the son. So we can set up an equation by multiplying the son's. We go back three years ago, we could multiply that son's age by four, and that would equal Bob's age three years ago. So in other words, we take the son's age from three years ago, multiply it by four, would equal the father's age three years ago, and that's that's our equation. So um, the son, three years ago, the son Bill um, would have been x minus three years old. So four times x minus three uh, equals thirty-two. And we can make a little pointer here. Uh, let's get a little laser pointer going. So yeah, four x minus three. 4 times x minus 3 equals 32. Well, we can simplify that down. 4x minus 12 equals 32. 4x equals 44. Um, that leaves us with x equals 11. Now remember, we, we assigned x to be uh, Bill's age uh, three years ago. Bill is the son. Oh, I'm sorry, x represents Bill's age today, which is 11. So, obviously, if, if Bill is 11 years old today, he would have been 8 years old three years ago, right? All right, so, like I said, Bill was 8 years old three years ago. Um, that makes Bob 32 years old three years ago. And guess what? 8 times 4 is 32. Uh, so, that verifies our solution because... Uh, if uh, three years ago Bob was 32 and his son was 8, well, the father was four times as old as his son, uh, you know, which means today Bob is 35 and his son Bill would be 11. So um, hopefully that makes sense. Again, I'll try to post a link to the, the video where I go through the methodology because basically all these types of problems work out the same. Uh, the biggest difference is, you know, the names of the people being used, and sometimes it's going to be, you know, in the future, so-and-so's five times as old, or you're going back in the past and saying, oh, well, seven years ago, uh, so-and-so was three times as old as the next person. So it's either older or younger, um, or you're going forward in time or backwards in time, but basically the problems worked out the same way. There's really no difference in that. So hopefully this has been helpful. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing. Uh, I've got probably over 100 of these um, videos with order of operations, algebra problems, and so on. So I uh, hope everyone has a great day, and I look forward to catching you all in the next video.